If you're an athlete, you've got a 5 to 10% chance of getting a concussion. If you play football, that likelihood jumps to 75%. But despite the high frequency of concussions that occur, many go unnoticed and untreated. Here's what happens to your body when you get a concussion. The brain sits in cerebrospinal fluid in your skull. The fluid can help to absorb small impacts, but a significant knock on the head or whiplash motion can cause your brain to hit back and forth on the walls of the skull. The impact of the brain sloshing around can strain and damage fragile brain tissue and, in more serious cases, cause bruising and bleeding, referred to as contusions and hematomas. Of course, this damage may not always be apparent since it's not outwardly visible. And many people who experience concussions never lose consciousness or exhibit any other obvious signs of brain injury. But studies have shown that people who have already experienced one concussion are more at risk to receive a second or third concussion. Over time, these injuries can cause serious cognitive and emotional disability, and in some cases, death. So if you're ever feeling a little dizzy or out of sorts after an accident, make sure to take the time to recover and see a doctor right away.